Hello everyone, this is Ashijan. This is another video on income tax filing return. Uh, many of the students are asking uh, doubts related to ITR filing. So I decided to upload one more video and to clear all the doubts. So first let's start uh, with the uh, question. First we will read question very carefully. Okay, the name of the SSE is Ram Singh, father's name Amar Singh, pen, date of birth 7-7-1956. That means the SSE's age is 64, that is more than 60 years. That means SSE is senior citizen. And uh, you know very well that uh, this date of birth uh, will reflect uh, where at the time of uh, uh, on the ATD, at the time of reduction of ATD, as well as interest on saving bank okay now address also given mobile number email residential status that is ROR and he was in India for 310 days during the previous year 1920 written to be filed under which section that is 139 for that is belated return name and address of the employer Tata versus computer limited pan of the employer Data of a, com of a, in a company nil, shareholder in a list, unlisted company nil, number of bank, bank account one, data filing ignore this, uh, date of details of bank is given as by bank account. Okay, now come to the part of uh, income details that is income from salary which is given by employer under form 16. Now, employee received basic salary amounting group is 1 crore 45 lakh uh, during the previous year 1920 and uh, house rent allowance now sometimes students bit confused between these amount first of all we need to identify the how much amount received by the ssc in the form of hra okay i repeat first of all every ssc need to find out the amount amount uh, or amount received by the SSC in the form of house rent allowance okay so the amount received amount is will be summation of exempt as well as chargeable tax to tax taxable amount as well as exempt so if we add both these amount we will get 50,000 50, that means SSC received 50,000 as house rent allowance and out of 50,000 amount taxable is 20,000 and exempt amount is 30,000. Now next point is traveling allowance which uh, covered under section 1014 and uh, this amount is fully exempt that is 40,000. Perquisite in respect of gas provided by employer that is 30,000. Children education allowance which are covered under, under 1014 and this whole amount is fully exempt. Now come to the part of house property. There are two house property. Now, first house property is uh, on let out. Rent amount is uh, after TDS that is 9 lakh. So, we will take the gross amount that is 10 lakh. Municipal tax paid 80,000. So, we will consider this amount. Interest on borrowed capital on renewal of house property. As you know very well class, in the, ca in the case of let out, there is no limit on the interest on borrowed capital there is no limit as well as uh, there is uh, there is no any kind of condition like whether this interest on borrowed capital is taken for which purpose okay so there is no condition as well as there is no limit so that means uh, under section 24b this whole amount this entire amount will be deducted now next point is in expenditure on repair so this will be totally ignored why because as i see already getting 30 percent deduction under section 24a okay now next house property is that is self-occupied municipal tax paid we will totally ignore why because gav is nil so nav also nil nav can't be negative and the interest on borrowed capital again on renewal of house property now this is a case of self-occupied and uh, there are some conditions that the interest on borrowed capital must be taken on or after 
one first April nineteen ninety nine, and it will be taken for for the purchase of of house property or for construction purpose. But this interest on board capital taken for renewal of house property. That means now the amount of limit will be restricted here, restricted to thirty thousand. So we will get only thirty thousand out of one thirty. Now uh, again we will repair. Again we will ignore this expenditure on repair. Now come to the next head that is income from other sources, saving bank interest one lakh fourteen thousand five hundred. Interest sorry uh, received jewelry from a friend uh, as gift market value eighty thousand. Now as you know very well. If any if any SSC received any kind of movable property without any consideration from non-relative, from non-relative, and if its market value is more than fifty thousand, then the entire amount will be taxable in the hand of SSC, which means this now eighty thousand will be taxable in the hand of SSC. Next point is winning from lottery, amounting rupees thirty five thousand. Again, this is a Net amount, net amount. That means after deducting TDS at the rate of thirty percent. That means this is a seventy percent amount. Now we will take hundred percent amount. That is gross, which is fifty thousand amount. Okay. Now come to the next point. That is interest or expenditure. That is related to deduction. Now SSC contributed towards RPF eighty thousand, PPF forty two thousand, NPS sixty thousand. Medical insurance premium of a SSC, his wife, and dependent children thirty thousand. Medical insurance premium for grandfather twenty thousand. Class, we will ignore this last part. That is medical insurance premium for grandfather because as per eighty section uh, uh, section eighty D, a SSC we can we can can only get uh, deduction for the payment of medical insurance premium for if he uh, if he or she made payment for himself or herself. spouse dependent children and parents not grandparents okay so in this case the ssc will not get deduction amounting of rupees 20000 now rpf and ppf will cover under under 80c nps will cover under 80 ccd now i would like to uh, explain this point in detail nps since it is not given whether this nps uh, amount also include employer contribution it is not given now it is now up to you whether you want that whether uh, whether you want this nps is covered uh, both that is employer as, as well as employee because uh, suppose if we assume that uh, this nps is only a employee contribution and uh, suppose we will consider the same amount for the employee contribution as well but this will uh, but uh, this amount uh, uh, is not uh, reflected under salary point because uh, if the employer also contributing to nps then this will also reflect on salary portion also so this is not covered under salary po salary point so now it's up to the uh, Uh, we are giving just benefit uh, from on uh, on the to the student that uh, on the basis of uh, on the basis of assumption student can take any kind of assumption that uh, whether we will take nps employee or for both employee as well as employer so as of now we uh, we have done uh, uh, lots of example and uh, we have taken NPS for employee as well as for employee contribution. So in this video, I am taking another assumption in this point. The uh, NPS is only that this NPS covered only employee contribution, not employer contribution. Okay. And uh, I will uh, uh, explain this again later on when uh, we will put uh, this amount in ITR. Now the next point is TDS. That is uh, tax deducted by employer amount in rupees thirty lakh thirty three lakh. Then uh, TDS deducted by lottery authority 
on 50,000 that is 15,000 and TDS again deducted by 10 and amounting rupees 1 lakh on 10 lakh. Now SSE also paid some advance tax amount of rupees 1 lakh 4,000 and uh, SSE disclosing some assets house property, motor car, cash in hand and uh, he has also some outstanding amounts that means liability amount that is 46. Now let's start with the filing of ITR. Now this is a home page of ITR2. I have already made yes or no as per the requirement. So salary will be yes, house property yes, in, in, uh, details of capital gain no because we uh, do not have any kind of information. From the sale of equity shares no non-resident income any kind of no income from other sources yes details of loss to be carried forward to future no details of investment no uh, details of health insurance premium yes details of donation no details of for scientific research no computation of tds under section 105 jd no directions yes details of income of specified person no Details of exempt income? No. Pass through income details through business trust or investment fund? No. Details of income accruing or outside India? No. So we will need to make, we have to make it no. Then schedule TR uh, details of tax relief claim under section 90? No. Uh, information regarding appointments of income between spouses governed by Portuguese civil code? No. Details of assessment liabilities, yes. Details of advance tax, yes. Details of TDS, yes. Details of TCS, no. So now mm -hmm. let's apply this. So I have already filled uh, the basic details of SSC name Ram, last name Singh, pen, flat, status. That is individual, area details, area locality, town, date of birth 7-7-1956, state Kerala, country India, pin code, G email, mobile number and uh, filing of return that is after due date that is which covered under section 113 and 4 and uh, we have to make this no residential status this one and uh, since the SSC SSC stayed in the last uh, in the previous year was 310 so I have selected the first one that is uh, the SSC stayed 182 days or more during the previous year now, uh, do you want to claim the benefit? No. Now, the SSC, whether you are director of a company? No. Whether the SSC have any unlisted shares? No. So, everything is fine now, till now. Let's validate this. Sheet is okay. Now, move into next part. That is income from salary. Now name of, name of the employer Tata Overseas Limit Computer Limited Nature of the employer others Address of the employer Old 6G3 393 Old Uttam Nagar Town or City Kunur State Kerala
पिन कोड सिक्स सेवन डबल जीरो वन टू सिक्स सेवन डबल जीरो वन टू नॉन लेट्स कम टू दी पार्ट ऑफ सैलरी फर्स्ट वन इज बेसिक सैलरी अमाउंटिंग रुपीज वन करोड़ फोर्टी फाइव लैख बेसिक सैलरी अमाउंटिंग रुपीज वन करोड़ फोर्टी फाइव लैख नेक्स्ट वन इज नाउ वी हैव टू पुट अमाउंट रिसीव्ड बाय एस एस सी एज हाउस रेंट अलाउंस सो दैट विल बी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड हाउस रेंट अलाउंस अमाउंटिंग रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दैट इज सबमिशन ऑफ एग्जाम एंड टैक्सेबल अमाउंट Now the next uh, amount received by SSC that is travelling allowance amounting rupees forty thousand. So we will put in others and then we will put description here that is travelling allowance. Amounting rupees forty thousand. Now the next one is uh, perquisite in respect of uh, gas that is provided by employer. So we will put in this section nature of the perquisite gas, electricity, and water amounting rupees thirty thousand. Now next one is children edu education education allowance. So add in nature in seventeen one. And then select children education allowance, amounting rupees two thousand four hundred. Now next one is we will put uh, uh, all exemption amount, uh, exempted amount. First one is HRA amounting rupees thirty thousand, which covered under section. <clears throat> Thirteen A, amounting rupees thirty thousand. The next one would be driving loans, which covered under section ten fourteen one. Ten fourteen one, amounting rupees forty thousand. And then next we have children education loans. Which are covered under Section Ten Fourteen Two. Ten Fourteen Two. Select Ten Fourteen Two and then put amount here two thousand four hundred. That's it. Now after the standard edition. Yes. Uh, so after this end edition, the taxable amount of salary would be one crore forty-five lakh. Okay. Now I'm validate the sheet. Sheet is open. Now move to next sheet. That is related to income from house property. Since there are two house property, so first we will put address of first house property. It is hundred fifteen A B. Hundred fifteen AB Elephant Medan Town or City Kochi Yes, uh, Town or Kochi State Kerala. Country India, pin code six eight two double zero one. 
owner of the host property self is the property co-owned no since this property is let out so the type type of property will be let out name of the tenant tarun mishra and then we will put directly amount here that is gav gross rent revenue received amounting rupees 10 lakh not 9 lakh and then municipal tax paid that is 30000 that is tax paid to local authorities amounting rupees 80000 and then interest on broad capital this entire amount will be directed under section 24b so we will put the amount here 5 lakh 10000 now the income from first house property will be 64 lakh 34000 now there is another property so add property and then we will put address of this property also 612b railway road 412b railway road town or city kunur state again kerala pin code 67003 67003 owner of the property self co owned no Type of the property here will be self occupied GAV nil amount of local authority also nil. Now we will just amount here that is interest on borrowed capital. Now, since the interest on uh, borrowed capital taken for the renewal, so the direction amount will be rested here, rested here to 30,000. 30,000 I think I have put uh, some mistake here yes sorry actually I have put uh, one extra zero this will be 10 lakh yes now the total income from house property will be 1 lakh 4,000 now validate the sheet sheet is okay and then move to next sheet that is income from other sources now first one is saving bank interest accounting group is 1,14,500 so from saving 1,14,500 next received jewelry from a gift from a friend so we will put here in case of other property is received without consideration fair market value of the property will be amount in rupees 80,000 now as I see also uh, get income from winning from lottery amount in rupees 50,000 not 35,000 so we will put him a hair amount gross amount that is 50,000 then we need to just to come downward to the last page and uh, they are asking income by way of uh, winning from lottery crossword puzzles means they are asking uh, in which quarter the SSC uh, won this won the in, uh, amount since uh, the date of winning amount is not given to you so I am just assuming that the SSC uh, won the amount of lottery in the last quarter that is in the month of uh, March okay so I am putting here 50,000 amount that's it now validate this sheet sheet is okay and then move to next next now this is related to session 80D 
Now, since the assessee's age, age is 64, that is more than 60 years, that is, yes, the assess, uh, age is senior citizen, yes. And then let's see the amount of uh, expenditure on the medical insurance premium of SSE housewife that is amounting rupees 30,000. So we will put here 30,000, not 25,000. Okay. Now, whether your parents, uh, we are not uh, uh, claiming any deduction for the parents. So just select not claiming for parents and then validate and then now move to next. Next again, make it no, make it no. Now let's to study this RPF and PPF. PPF is related to ATC and the summation of amount will be 1,22,000. So we will put amount ATC in 1,22,000. Now all of you see this, since the RPF and PPF are both are belong to section 80C and uh, the total amount of uh, direction under section 80, 80C will be 1,22,000. I think this is very clear. Now come to the point of next point, next point that is related to national pension scheme. Since in this example, we are assuming that uh, this NPS is only only a employee contribution, not employee contribution. Okay. Now the amount of contribution by SSC that is 60,000. Amount of contribution by SSC that is 60,000. Now this will be segre segregated into two parts. 80 CCD 1 and 80 CCD 1B. First, we will go to right side that is 80 CCD 1. Now we, uh, the SSC will get uh, direction lower of these following terms. What are those? Balance limit under section 80C. Balance limit under section 80C. So total amount of direction taken by SSC is 122,000. Now the balance, uh, balance amounting is 20,000. So we will write here 28,000 and total amount contributed by SSC that is 60,000 and then 10% of basic salary that is 1450,000. Now we will take lower of this and that is 28,000. Now this 28,000 the SSC will get deduction under 80 CCD1. Okay. Now move to left hand side that is related to 80 C, uh, uh, section 80 CCD1B. Now again, the SSC will have to take direction on the following lower of the following that is balance contribution. Balance contribution contribution is out of 60,000. Since the SSC already got deduction 60, uh, it, it, of, of 20,000 out of 60,000. That means balance amount is 22,000. I repeat balance contribution here means uh, amount out of balance of 60,000 since the SSC already got deduction under section 80 CCD 1B amounting rupees 28,000. So balance amount is, is still re remain that is 22,000 and uh, there is a maximum limit under section 80 CCD 1B that is 50,000. So lower amount is 22,000 that means SSC will get uh, deduction under section 80 CCD B amounting rupees 22,000. Actually, some of you, uh, many of the students asking uh, uh, doubts in this particular point. So I have explained. I hope now you have uh, cleared. So now let's just put amount in the 80 CC. See, we will not put any amount. 80 CCD1 amounting rupees 28,000. ATCCD 1B 22,000. Now we are not uh, taking the employer contribution here. So I am just leaving this row. And uh, we have already taken the 
deduction amount for the ATD that is 30,000. 30, now don't forget to take deduction under section 80 TTA or 80 TTB. 80 TTA for non-senior citizen since the SSA is senior citizen, senior citizen that means he can get benefit of claiming the deduction under section 80 TTB maximum amounting rupees 50,000 for what? For income received, interest received from bank interest from bank. That is uh, one lakh fourteen thousand five hundred. So we will just put amount for one lakh fourteen thousand. Now you can see the maximum amount uh, the SSC will get fifty thousand. Okay. I think uh, I have made a mistake somewhere. Okay, sorry, this will be 32,000. This will be 32,000 instead of 22,000. Sorry. Now the uh, total amount of deduction will be 262,000. 2,62,000. Now validate the sheet. Sheet is okay. And then move to next. Now this is a sheet for disclosing the, all the assets that is immovable as well as movable. So make it yes because we have details of house property description. House property. Four one two B Railway Road New Street Punor Kerala. Sorry, actually we have to put here Kunur. And uh, area and locating would be Sorry, here is New Street And here would be Railway Road So 412 Railway Road, New Street, Kono, Kerala. Yes. Now pin code is 67003. Amounting rupees, cost, cost line here. That is 70 lakh. Now next one is motor car, cash in hand. So jewelry, nail. Since the SSC got jewelry by way of gift, but uh, in this point, SSC actually uh, does not want to disclose the SSC uh, asset. So it's up to the SSC whether he, he or she want to disclose any kind of SSC or not. So we will put all the information as per the information given to you and in the question. So jewelry zero, RQ regulation zero. Vehicles, yes, motor car, amounting rupees six lakh fifty thousand. Bank, no, nil, shares, nil, loans and advances, nil, cash in hand, two lakh three thousand. And uh, liabilities also forty six thousand. That's it. Now validate the sheet and then move to next. Now just uh, come to downward and then put details to uh, bank details. IFSC code SBIN triple zero six five two one SBIN triple zero six five two one. 
अकाउंट नंबर सेवन वन टू सेवन वन टू सिक्स थ्री फाइव फोर सेवन नाइन फोर फाइव नॉट टिक ऑन दिस डायलॉग बॉक्स एंड देन मेक इट नो non for it we will not do anything just click on validate and then move to next page now first we will go details about advanced tax okay bsr code is 004816 date 3320 सीरियल नंबर ऑफ चलान 00146 अमाउंटिंग रुपीस 1 लाख 4000 दैट्स इट वैलिडेट ओके नेक्स्ट पेज दिस इज रिलेटेड टू टीडीएस सो पेन 10 नंबर ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयर That is R T K A R T K A double eight seven six zero A name of the player sorry R T K A double eight six seven zero A. Name of the player: Tata Overseas Computer Limited. Chargeable income from salary that is one crore forty-five lakh, and the TDS amount is thirty-three lakh. Now we will put details ready to TDS. some more details about dts that is uh, lottery amount that is uh, 15000 so just select self uh, now and then put uh, 10 number rtka 49512a uh, class uh, in the last videos uh, Uh, i have told to told you to put information in unclaimed tds brought forward actually i would like to uh, tell you one thing that uh, actually uh, sorry for that actually i have made a, a mistake here we don't need to put amount uh, in the row of unclaimed tds brought forward we will put uh, amount here that is t uh, deducted in your own hand sorry for the inconvenience because i actually just realized so deducted in your hand that is amount of rupees 15000 claimed in your own hand again 15000 and uh, gross amount 50000 and a lottery amount that is income from other sources and uh, now we will put another tds amount so again select self 10 number that is rtka 123450t rtka 123450t again we will blank this unclaimed bro forward and then put tds amount that is 1 lakh one lakh gross amount 10 lakh that is tds income from house property that's it now we will validate the sheet
sheet is okay and then move to next uh, father's name amar singh select uh, self that's it now valid validate the sheet and then directly jump to part b tti first uh, click on validate and then click on calculate tax click okay now see the taxable amount of salary is 1 1 crore 40 lakh taxable income from house property 1 lakh 4000 and uh, income from other sources that is 2 lakh sorry yes 2 lakh 44500 now the gta would be 1 crore 45 lakh 86500 and uh, after the surcharge the total amount of taxable is 5 lakh 50 lakh sorry 50 lakh 6397 and uh, the financer would be now uh, there would be uh, interest on deferred furnishing since the ssc is uh, uh, returning uh, filing this return after the due date so the amount of uh, default interest on deferred will be 59492 so the financer would be 1546890 so this is the financer now generate first validate and then generate exam okay this is the summary sheet now click on save as xml and just find your xml file as per the as per this path location okay because uh, in bcommerce and bcom program level this information will give to you that all of you need to upload folder with the name and roll number and you need to put this all excel as well as xml file so don't forget to save xml file i hope now everything is clear so this is the another example for itr filing i hope now you understood very well So please keep like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.